in August of this year, which is the earliest that they'll let me do it, I am going to be going back to school to pursue my master's degree. My plan has always been to get the master's degree in cybersecurity and information assurance at a college called Western Governors University. However, after really, really thinking about it, I don't think that's the path for me. Even though I work in information security, even though I absolutely love what I do, I, I'm not really seeing the value like I thought that I would in pursuing that degree. So instead, I am heavily, heavily considering getting an MBA in IT management instead. And what I'd like to do in this video is I'll tell you a little bit about me, I'll tell you a little bit about both degrees, and then I'll talk about the positives and the negatives of each and why it is that I'm leaning towards getting the IT management degree instead. I don't really like talking about myself, but I think it's important for you to get some context on why it is that I'm doing one over the other. And I know that there are some of you out there that are asking me, you know, how did I get into IT, all that other stuff. And I will still put out a video about that. But for this specific video, I just want to talk about kind of where I am right now and then what my future plans are, because that's really what's going to kind of determine where I go with this degree. All right. Long story short. I basically help companies to improve their security posture from an IT perspective. So um, I usually work for small to medium sized companies, which is great because it allows me to get way more hands on, get way more experience. But there is a trade off to that. And it's that while I have managed security teams before, the problem is usually with most of these companies, I'm like a one or two person security team and that's it. So I have a lot of knowledge when it comes to um, some of the technical side of things. I've done a lot of vulnerability management and remediation. I've managed a lot of EDRs, but at the same time, I heavily am focused on the compliance side, at least now in my career. So there's a lot of auditing. Unfortunately, there's, there's vendor and security questionnaires, which absolutely suck, but I am also responsible for like setting up and managing different security projects and initiatives that we have. And then there's a lot of like compliance related stuff. So we're talking about managing NIST or ISO or SOC frameworks, whatever it is that we have. And I am responsible for not only managing those, but sitting through the audits and making sure that we pass them. But honestly, it just depends on the job because depending on what job I have or what company I'm working for, my responsibilities could really vary a lot. Outside of that, I also have some certifications, as you can see. The highest one in my career so far is probably the CISSP, but I am still kind of studying and learning every day something new, whether it's going for a particular certification or just studying something that I'm interested in on the side. And one last thing, because it's kind of important, I also have a bachelor's degree in cybersecurity and information assurance, which I got at WGU. Regarding my future, if it was up to me, I would move up the corporate ladder, of course, within information security. So we're talking about maybe director of security and compliance, VP, CISO, that type of thing. Um, that is what I'm planning on being my nine to five job. Of course, I also like to do other things on the side. So really in the future, I can see myself doing a little bit of programming, coding, maybe even starting my own side business or something like that. I am always looking for other ways to diversify my income. And I think getting a master's degree will not only help for, from a credential standpoint, but also it'll help me to learn and gain some of the skills to be able to help me in both my like personal life and in my corporate life. Yeah, that intro was not as short as I wanted it to be. But anyways, let's just go ahead and get to the main point here. Let's first talk a little bit about Western Governors University for those of you who have no idea what it is. Western Governors University, also known as WGU, is a competency-based school, which basically means that you can sort of test out of classes if you know the material and you can prove that you know the material through either external exams or internal exams or papers that you have to write. And so the main two big things about this school, it, it is regionally accredited. There's a lot of stuff that goes into that, but I'm, I'm going to leave that for another video. The main things and the main benefits here is that number one, you can finish school a lot faster. And number two, because you can finish school a lot faster and everything is broken up into six months terms, you could save a lot of money over time. I'm not trying to convince you that the school is right or wrong for you. I just wanted to throw that out there so you get a little bit of context on what we're talking about. So now let's talk about the degrees. I want to quickly touch on the MBA and IT management first because I need to make sure we're all talking about the right degree. We are talking about Western Governance University, but WGU is broken down into like four different like major colleges. And there's the College of IT, which is what the Master of Science in Cybersecurity and Information Assurance sits. There is also another degree in there called the Master of Science in IT Management. And that is not the degree that I'm going for. I'm not even considering that degree. Now, if you guys are going for that degree, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. It's just not the degree that I'm going for. It's not my plan. I am specifically talking about going for 
the business of college degree, which is the MBA in IT management. Maybe in the future, I'll do kind of a breakdown between those two and like make a dedicated video towards it. But for the moment, let's just focus on the MBA. And the big thing that you need to know about the MBA is I believe that WGU has like three MBAs. I think it's the regular MBA, the MBA in IT management, and then the MBA in healthcare management. And to be honest with you, I've looked at the classes for all three of these and they all share the exact same classes except for two. So. IT management, the one that I'm specifically going for, the MBA in IT management, it has every class that all the rest of them have, except IT management specifically has two IT classes. And then the healthcare management has two extra healthcare management classes. And then the MBA is just two more generic management classes. If you're interested in getting an MBA at WGU, which one you choose to get probably doesn't really matter. I would prefer to get the one in IT management, but I really could go for either one because the study material is going to be damn near the same for all three. There are 11 classes in total that you have to do, and they just kind of vary all over the place. There's financing, accounting, uh, there's an economics class. You have a couple of IT classes. I think you have a leadership class and most are management classes. On the other hand, you have the cybersecurity and information assurance degree. And to be honest with you, I think it's quite different. There are only nine courses instead of 11. And as part of this degree, you get a couple the certifications, which is always nice. I think the one that probably matters to most people is the CEH, which stands for Certified Ethical Hacker. And overall, I think that this is a degree that despite it being a master's in cybersecurity and information assurance, I, I think that it kind of teaches things, at least from what I can see and looking at each class and getting the descriptions, it's it's looks like it's kind of presented in a way that you don't have to be a cybersecurity expert going in, even though it may seem like that at first, because it's not super technical. There are technical classes, but a lot of it, from what I've been told, is really built around like the, the CISSP domains. And so for that, there's going to be a lot of just straight up cybersecurity management that's built in as opposed to it being all technical. And for that reason, I think that if you have some good general IT knowledge and you're trying to pursue a degree and you want to get something like cybersecurity and information assurance degree, you should be just fine doing the master's degree. So that was just a quick look at both of them. I really want to now go like category by category and compare the two back and forth so you can see why each one is better over the other, at least as it relates to me and my experience and my knowledge and my goals. First, let's talk about speed. To be honest with you, I'm pretty sure that I can get both of them done within one term, so I'm not super worried about speed. But if we are talking about day to day, it is a million times faster for me to do the cybersecurity and information assurance degree. And the reason why is because first of all, the MBA has 11 different classes or courses. And from what I've been told from enrollment counselors, you can't transfer any credit in whatsoever. So I literally have to take 11 courses period. However, with the cybersecurity and information assurance degree, it's completely different. There are only nine classes, period. But because I have the CISSP certification, that will knock off two classes instantly, which brings me down to seven. And then if I wanted to, which I probably wouldn't, but if I wanted to, I can actually transfer in the CompTIA Pentest Plus certification, which I got during my uh, bachelor's degree, and I can actually knock off another class. So technically, if I wanted to, I can take the master's degree in cybersecurity and information assurance and only have six classes to do. You, you can't beat that at all. So totally the notch goes to the master's degree in cybersecurity and information assurance. In terms of cost, the difference per term is actually pretty small. It's less than $100. The cybersecurity degree is $4,645 per term. The MBA is $4,730 per term. However, even though the cybersecurity degree wins a little bit there, it actually wins a lot more in my opinion, because remember that the cybersecurity degree comes with two certifications. And these certifications by themselves are pretty damn expensive. In my particular case, I would get both of these certifications. I would not transfer in the CompTIA Pentest Plus. So, you know, we're talking about saving, I think, over a thousand dollars between the two because the price of these certifications outside of this is absolutely ridiculous. And remember with WGU, not only do they pay for your certification attempt, but they actually pay for two certification attempts. So if I failed the first time, I'd be able to take it again off of WGU's dime instead of having to pay separate on my own. So for that reason, cybersecurity definitely takes it for cost. In terms of difficulty with finishing the degree, 
it absolutely goes to the cybersecurity degree being a lot easier. The thing is, cybersecurity, I know it inside and out. I don't know everything. There's always new things to learn, and I love that. But I understand at least at a fundamental knowledge to be able to handle damn near anything. So this cybersecurity degree, I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about a single class. I should be able to knock it out, do it, focus, get it done. But the other degree, the MBA, is completely different. The MBA is going to be very hard because it's a lot of stuff that I just don't have a ton of direct experience with. I mean, we're talking about a global economics class, a marketing class, accounting and financing are going to be very difficult for me. I think those will probably be the two hardest classes. And like, if if we're talking about my personal finances, I'm great. I, my credit score is over 800. It's been that way for years, but that was due to a lot of trial and error and then learning things and studying things on my own to prevent myself from screwing up again. There was a time in my life where... But, you know, I went to collections, I, I had creditors after me and I learned and I fixed it and I'm not gonna ever have that happen again, but that's personal finances. We're talking about managing finances and accounting and stuff for companies and I don't have that experience and I'm gonna need to learn it. I'm gonna need to learn all the terms and everything from the very beginning and that is going to kick my ass and I already know that it is. So for that reason and, and many other classes that you have to deal with in the MBA, I would totally give the cybersecurity degree the, the notch for being much easier. It might not be super easy, but it's definitely easier for me. Next is versatility. And to be honest with you, I hands down give this one to the MBA. The thing is the cybersecurity degree is great. Obviously it specializes in information security, but I do think there's a lot of management there as well. So, you know, you can really use that not just in cybersecurity, but you can use it really anywhere in IT because you, you learn a lot of concepts, not just for security, but you know, you're gonna learn your networking and your cloud security and just general IT. So it is a great degree. However, it just doesn't compare to the MBA in terms of versatility. The MBA, period. A lot of people will just say, I have an MBA, and that's enough, right? That's enough to get you somewhere. It doesn't matter that you have a concentration in IT management, specifically for this one, because you only have two classes in IT. But the MBA not only allows you to you know, move up in companies, and, and a lot of them want you to have those business degrees, but you learn that business jargon, you learn a lot of generic information to help you in regular businesses, but you can start small businesses. It's just, it's so damn versatile. You don't have to be limited to IT. You can still do anything in IT as far as IT management's concerned, but you, you can leave IT. You can use it in so many other places. And for that reason, I totally give the notch to the MBA. Next is ROI or return on investment. And the notch totally goes to the MBA here. The thing is, you know, if I'm going to put my money into something, I really got to look at what's going to help me in the future. And I'll just be honest with you. Now, let me be very clear. This is just me and my personal opinion for my degree. All of you, whatever you guys are doing, keep it up, keep up the good work. Don't change because of what I'm saying here. I'm really just saying it because of me. But that being said, I, I cannot really see the benefit at all whatsoever of getting a master's degree in cybersecurity and information assurance when my bachelor's degree is in cybersecurity and information assurance. It's, it's the same thing. There is no difference, no benefit to me in getting a master's degree in specifically cybersecurity and information assurance versus getting a master's degree in anything else. The benefit itself is getting a master's degree. Yes, I can do it quickly, but quickly isn't the issue here. We're talking about just straight up return on investment. And having the master's degree, when I really think about what is the benefit of specifically the cybersecurity degree, it's the fact that it comes with two certifications and I don't truly care about either one. The CEH, it's a nice to have from an HR perspective, but other than that, it doesn't really have a lot of respect in the community. And then I've never even heard of the other certification. The MBA is completely different here. You gotta think about it like this. The bachelor's degree that I have is a STEM degree. If I go for the master's degree in the same thing, I'm just getting another STEM degree. However, if I get my MBA, then the MBA is a business degree. They're just very different. We're talking about two completely different skill sets, two different programs of study, two different areas. And not only will it help me just in overall knowledge, but it also looks really good on my resume to have two completely separate things. And remember what I said the end goal is, it's pretty much to move up in management and leadership. So yeah, in my opinion, the ROI definitely goes to the, the MBA. I think it's gonna help me a lot more. I think it's gonna put a lot more value into me and the things that I'm going for 
versus getting a master's degree in the same thing as what I already have my bachelor's in. There is one more category that I wanna talk about and it's a second master's degree. And I know this isn't something that's guaranteed and really if I do it, it would be more for hobby than anything else. But the, the honest truth is that at some point in the future, I may pursue a master's degree in computer science. And because of that, it's a highly technical degree. I already know I'm gonna spend a lot of time on it. The reason why I'm not even considering doing it right now, but instead doing it far into the future is because I used to do a lot of programming and coding way, way back many years ago, and I've forgotten all of it. So I need to relearn everything. I need to really get back into it, really get more hands-on. And it's something that I miss doing, but it's something that I know would be a hobby, not my main career. So therefore, my priority is not computer science, but it is something that I am considering doing in the future. And when I look into the future, I want a degree that I feel will complement what I already have, not go against it. And for that reason, I'm giving the notch to the MBA. Of course I chose the MBA in IT management. You guys didn't really think that I would choose the cybersecurity degree, did you? We're talking about three STEM degrees now. Honestly, I just don't see the value in that whatsoever. Again, no disrespect to anybody else that's doing it, but for me, nah, it's not gonna work out. I think it just fits perfectly, man. There's no need for me to get three STEM degrees, but just, just think about this. Have a Bachelor of Science in Cybersecurity and Information Assurance, an MBA in IT management, and a Master of Science in Computer Science. There's three different areas, there are three different programs of study, there, there are three very different things, but for me and my goals, my own personal like career goals and side goals, they all fit perfectly. It does exactly what I want. The problem with the master of science in cybersecurity and information assurance is it just tries to take everything and loop it all together. It's not technical enough for me to uh, be happy with it being a technical degree. And I feel like if I'm gonna go for any type of management stuff, it should be an MBA anyways. So getting the MBA and then potentially later getting the computer science degree along with the bachelor's that I already have, it's just perfect. Oh, just on a side note here, if you guys are wondering where I would get my master's in computer science, I have no idea. Believe it or not, WGU actually said a long time ago that they were gonna come out with a master's of computer science and they just never did. So maybe one day they'll do it in the future, but I wouldn't hold my breath on that. Anyways, that's it. That's just my opinion. Um, obviously, I wanna know what you guys think. Am, am, I, am I way off base here? Maybe I'm just thinking about it wrong. I don't know. Again, I don't have all the answers. Yes, ultimately I'm gonna make my own decision and you know whatever I choose to do is what I'm gonna live with. But to be honest with you, I don't even have to figure it out until like mid-June because again, I can't start until August. So um, I'm curious, what are your opinions? What are you guys going for? Why are you guys going for whatever degrees that you've chosen to do? And um, yeah, that is all for me. Thank you guys for listening and I will see you on my next video.